Welcome back, everybody, to Farming Simulator 22. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, uh, we are going to go get a roller and roll the field because it needs it. Uh, so you can see when we look at it, it says needs rolling. So we're going to do that. Um, and it's still October the 3rd. I haven't advanced to the next day because if I advance to the next day, well, the grass might start growing, and I don't think we can roll it after there's actually plants on it. So uh, let's do that. Hey, but before we get started, if you guys enjoy this episode, please make sure you take a moment and hit that like button. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you haven't subscribed already, I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Okay, let's get started here. Yeah, so um, we have all the timber uh, or trees cleared off the land that we did not want. So that's taken care of. And uh, so we're going to roll the field. And then, then we're going to sleep and bring it to November 1st. And I'm hoping that uh, some contracts will open up for us uh, once we do that. Look at that field, man. Isn't that gorgeous? And our land is clear of all those pesky trees. It's kind of a bummer to cut some of those trees down, but, you know, they were just uh, in the way, basically. So, yeah, we had to do it. Didn't make much money, <laughs> that's for sure. Uh, but that's okay. We had fun doing it. We learned a little bit about how the basic logging works in the game. And um, at some point in the future, in a future series, probably not this one, uh, I'd like to, to get more into logging and maybe even have a logging series or at least have it be a substantial part of what we do um, in that season. So that is what I'd like to do, among other things. Okay, let's go over here and check out rollers. So we need to go here. Actually, we've already looked at the sales, right? Yeah. Oh, well, this is new. Some of this is new. I remember the fit. I remember those three things, but I don't remember this. That's a that's a harvester. Um, indicated crop types. Yeah, that's a really nice Massey Ferguson harvester, but still way beyond our reach at this point in time. Now, it's too bad we can't buy that, but we can't. So it is what it is. Unless we took some loans out, which I don't really want to do. Um. So yeah, we'll just uh, we won't worry about that right now. We are going to have to come up with a harvester, though, by, uh, well, actually, not not for a while yet. Uh, I am planning on doing oats at some point, uh, but we can always rent that, too. Okay, anyway, so rollers. Uh, rollers, you can improve the upper soil layer quality of your fields. Uh, 140000 no thanks. We're going to do this one, and, of course, we're going to just lease it. Uh, so let's open this guy up and uh, lease. It's going to cost us 2000 bucks. okay? And there we go. All right. Let's go do some rolling here. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Now, um, I may not have had to do the rock picking because I think the roller actually squishes the rocks back in the ground. But, you know, we we also cultivated at the same time. And I don't know if the roller consider, is considered cultivating. So, but it was, it was cool to, you know, work the rock picker for the, because we'd never done it before just to experience it. So if nothing else, there was that, right? Um, all right, let's go get our field rolled. Oh. Okay, I don't know how much or how wide this thing is going to get, so let's uh, get right here and get it unfolded. Oh, that's pretty wide, man. Wow, look at that thing. Okay, cool. This isn't going to take too long. <laughs> uh, all right, let's back up here. No cars coming. If they are, they're going to have to stop. I'm going to zoom out a little bit so I can make sure we are in a good position. That looks pretty good there. Okay, so I guess we just drop her down and go to town, eh? Make sure we're not... Okay. Here we go. Doesn't really change the look of the soil to speak of. But we're gonna have to try and pay attention to where we've been. I think I'm just gonna turn 
and keep going, at least on that corner. I know I'm too far to the left now, but... Yeah, you can kind of tell a little bit of a difference. I mean, not hugely, but... At least this thing's wide enough to, you know, to where... It's not going to take us too long, I don't think, to do this. Can we just flip it all the way around here? we got to make sure... Yeah, we didn't quite hit that corner all the way. Okay, that's good. All right, here we go. Oh man, I got too far out again. I was busy watching the back end and not paying attention to where my tractor was pointing. Okay, now let's swing now. Uh, I think we're going to miss the corner a little bit. Or a lot. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, you can you can tell the difference. It's a little bit harder to see here, but I think we want to whoop, we'll start right about here. Well, it takes a while for that thing to get on the ground, doesn't it? Okay. Well, that was just about the easiest thing in the world. Um, I am going to go back over the two far edges, though, because I was in just a little bit. Probably doesn't matter, but let's just do it for good measure. Let's swing a little wider this way and see if we can get that corner this time because we just barely missed it. There we go. All right. Nice. All right, guys. Uh, let's get this returned and then we are going to go... Uh, we're going to go home and sleep and fast forward to November 1st. And then if the grass on the field has started growing, maybe we'll do a layer of fertilizer. But we're also going to be looking for contracts too. So it's uh, about a quarter after one in the afternoon. And, uh, yeah, there's, we're done working. There's nothing more for us to do today. I guess we could check the contracts one last time. Yeah, see, nothing. Nothing available. Okay. Maybe we'll stop off at Mama Joe's and get a late lunch. Good morning, everybody. Uh, it is November the 1st, and look at that. We got grass growing. Awesome. Okay, cool. 
All right, well, let's um, head on over to Mama Joe's for some breakfast, and then we're going to check the contracts and see what's going on here on November 1st for work that we can do. I think I'm going to wait a bit longer. Oh, I guess Mama Joe's is this way. I'm going to wait a little bit longer uh, before we fertilize our field. You know what? We should probably stop and get some gas too. Why don't we do that? We're not. We're we're getting kind of low. All right. So yeah, let's fill her up. Three hundred and seventeen bucks. All right. Our tractor is about sixty percent too, so it's going to need to be repaired here fairly soon. Sure hope we make a nice little tidy sum on those beets. We've had a lot of money going out lately and not a lot coming in, but that's partly because we've been doing a lot of work on the farm and there hasn't been a lot of contracts in the last few days. Okay, so, yeah, let's go get some breakfast and go on in and check the contracts. All right, so we have a baling, a harvesting, and a bunch of plowing contracts. The baling contract is on field 17, which I believe is one of those little ones up here. Yeah, tiny little field. Okay, that's pretty easy money, really, if you think about it. And um, what has he got for equipment? Yeah, we probably just use our own equipment. I mean, I don't know. Maybe we should use his. It's $87. Not that big a deal, and it saves wear and tear on our own equipment. Yeah, let's yeah, let's just use his equipment. Why not? We'll save the wear and tear on ours. Okay, so we're gonna do that. Um, and then I also want definitely want to take this large uh plowing job. What is this? Sunflowers. Ooh. We ought to take that just just to try something we that we haven't done yet. I think it'll stay there if I well, if I take it now it'll put all this stuff in the shop. I wonder yeah, let, let's just take it now, and hopefully there's room for everything over there. Okay, cool. Let's go on down and grab the stuff. So, yeah, we're not going to make a ton of money on the sunflowers, but it'll be something new that we haven't done yet. So that's really kind of the main reason why I took that one. Because we like new stuff. Let's get our lights on until it gets a little brighter out today. And, yeah, breakfast was good, by the way. We had some French toast and some bacon and some eggs. Mama Joe's a good cook. You know, in retrospect, I probably would not have purchased that haying equipment at this point. Um, you know, I just didn't know because because I'm new to the game. But in hindsight, it's just I, well, yeah. It's just better, I think, this early in the game to use their equipment for the contracts and to... Wow, <laughs> look at all this stuff over here. Use their equipment for the contracts and lease equipment for any of our own work to do. So, um, and you know, I could... This is, this is an option. I could sell all that stuff too, really. Um, I don't know. I'll have to think about that. I'll have to think about that. So, tell you what. Let's do the sunflowers first, because this is going to be a brand new experience for us. Never done sunflowers. Okay, so we got a, a header there and a combine, our harvester, and then that's all his haying equipment. wonder why he gives, why they give you two of these things. That doesn't make sense. Oh, I know why, because you could probably put one on the back of the tractor. Hmm. Okay. Well, if that... You know what? If that little field doesn't yield any more than four bales, maybe that's what we'll do. Maybe we'll we'll grab both of those. But let's do the sunflowers first. Okay, so why do we have... Oh, I know why. Because uh, we're going to need the tractor to pull the trailer to load the sunflowers. Very cool. All right. This is going to be fun, man. Something new. Something new. You know, the cool thing about the Greenhorn series that I'm doing now is all this stuff is new and, and it'll only be new to us once and then once we do it for the first time then it'll never be new to us again not and that's not to say we still won't have fun because we will but still 
How do I get in this thing? Oh, I guess I just go up to it and do that. Okay. Oh, this thing's awesome, man. Check this out. It's a new Harl uh, Holland CH7.70. Cool. All right. Listen to that baby purr. Nice. Okay, let's put our beacon on. Very cool. Okay, so we'll back up and grab the header. So harvesting sunflowers. Uh, Houston? Oh, do I have to get like more in the center? Or is it because that tractor's in the way? Oh, there we go. Okay. Nifty. I want to try something. When I'm borrowing these vehicles, oh, I can teleport through them. Okay. That's good to know. All right, let's take a look and see where we're going. So we are doing the harvesting. Uh, this is on field 67. That's going to be, where is that going to be? Over here. 60. Oh, it's just a little tiny field. Look at that place. All right, cool. So let's see. We are here. So we're basically just going to get on this road and go all the way down to here and then start heading west that way until we get to this field. All right, let's do this. I think the horns on these big machines are kind of wimpy. <laughs> yeah, we're going to need to get ourselves a combine at some point, but that might be a while yet. That's where we need to turn. I'm sitting here gawking at this really cool combine and not paying attention. Hopefully nobody's coming down the street there. Look at us, our bad selves inside that combine. I love it. As far as I know, and I could be completely wrong, I think a combine and a harvester are the same thing, aren't they? If they are not, let me know in the comments and what the difference is. I've always understood that they're the same thing, but maybe they aren't. Where When I was growing up, we generally referred to them as combines. We didn't really call them harvesters. At least, you know, not that I noticed anyway. My guess is that this um, combine slash harvester should be able to hold all the sunflower seeds from that little dinky field. And if it does, we might as well just drive the whole thing back and unload the trailer, you know, at the store. No point in taking that out to the field. Look at all those grain silos. Cool. You're going to have to go around, homie. Of course, this is a no passing zone, so it sucks to be him. Look at the beautiful trees here in November. They were yellow in October, now they're orange. Neat. Okay, we are at our field here. And there's some sunflowers. 
All right, so let's get right about here. And unfold the header. Cool. Okay, here we go, guys. Neat. Actually, could be in another row here, I think. So we'll keep an eye on the on the hopper, but yeah, I, I'm sh there's no way we're gonna fill this up on this field. Is that up? Yeah. Okay. 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 This is cool looking, man. I'm still too far over. There we go. Oh yeah, we're we're only seven percent. I'm just going to stay on this line here so we have a straight row next time. Not that it matters because we're going to be done here in a couple more passes. Interesting. Okay, so when I when I power up the, the header, it, it automatically lowers it and raises it when I turn the power off. I don't even have to do that. We're going to miss that row, aren't we? Oh, no, it's catching it. Okay. You know what, rather than fight those stupid trees, I'm just gonna back up. Such a small field. There we go. All right, man. Cool. So we'll fold up the that and fold up the harvester. Well, he's not allowed while the tool is filled. Oh, okay. So I guess we have seeds in the back of here. There they are. Looks like sort of kind of looks like sunflower seeds. Okay, let's head back to the shop and we will uh, offload into the trailer and then go dump them wherever they need to be dumped. Is there a quicker way to get back to the shop from here? Let's see, we are all the way over here, so we could just get on this road and go all the way around. Uh, yeah, we'll just do it that way. All right, I'll see you guys back at the shop. All right, guys, we are back at the store here. And I think we could pull right up here and just put the pipe out. Um, oh, that's kind of a long pipe, isn't it? <laughs> All right, we're going to have to come around the other side, dude. Hey, don't hit my tractor. Bring up the... Oh, it's just doing it automatically. Okay. There we go. Okay. We are finished with the harvester. 
turn the lights off and cut the engine. That was a fun experience. I guess we'll just leave the header on. No point taking it off and taking up more space in the parking lot here. Okay, let's get into this New Holland tractor. We'll hook up to the trailer and haul it off to wherever we got to take it to. Okay, let's take a look and see where this needs to go. Uh, to the feed and grain south. Okay. Feed and grain south. I think that is that big silo place we passed by, right? This one here? Feed and grain south, yeah. Man, <laughs> go all the way back down there again. Dog got it. Uh, okay. All right, well, I'll see you guys down there. Okay, this looks like a rear dump trailer. And what do we dump? Tip side back. Tip side grain door. I think that's the one we want, right? Yeah. Contract is finished. And we got a little $98 harvest income bonus, which pretty much covers the deficit from using their equipment. So it kind of just evened out, didn't it? Okay, let's take this back, return it, and then get started on the haying contract. Okay, we are done here. Let's hop out. I really like this little New Holland tractor, man. That thing is snazzy. Oh, what's this? This is just a little... The Vulture tractor. Okay. Honestly, I'm kind of tempted to, to keep the New Holland and use that for the haying, too. <laughs> I think it's just a tiny little thing, isn't it? Why don't we do that? Nah, you know, nah, let's not do that. <laughs> that would not be right to do in real life. So we'll we'll turn into contract. Okay. So yeah, let's do that now. If if it was the same kind of job, you know, I'd be more inclined to do it. Not not that that even really matters either, but whatever. Okay. So let's turn this in. Uh, let's collect. And oh, so we got some more stuff that popped up. We got a cultivating contract. On field 39 for $6,000, we'd lose 14. You know, the thing about the cultivating and plowing contracts is you don't get any bonus product from doing them. This is on field 39. Where is that at? That's going to be... Thirty-nine. There's 38. It's this one here. Uh, that could take a while. That's a pretty big field, but that looks like a pretty good size cultivator too. So, all right, we'll probably take that one, but let's, um, we're definitely going to take this. In fact, let's, let's do this now just so it doesn't disappear. I don't think it would, but I don't want to take any chances. So we're going to take that and we brought the items for it. And, uh, 
this plowing one will probably do too, but maybe we'll use his stuff for it because his stuff's bigger. Okay. <laughs> Look at all the stuff in the yard now. Wow, that's a nifty tractor. That dude's far. Uh, okay, so let's get the let's get the little haying contract taken care of next. So what do we got? We got a front mower, one of those rear swing to the side thingamadoodles. Then we're gonna have the Ted, and then windrow, and then bale, and then pick up. So, but it's a small field, so it'll take more time to run there and back than it is probably to do the actual work itself. All right, guys, uh, but I think we're going to go ahead and wrap up this episode because you guys have seen me do hay plenty of times. Uh, I've used, you've seen me cultivate. You've seen me plow. And so I think I'm just going to do all this stuff off camera and um, probably I might even, you know, do all of the contracts today just like I did before. Uh, so right now, if you look in the upper right hand corner, we are sitting at ninety one thousand six hundred twenty seven dollars. Uh, so when all of these contracts are done at the end of the day, I I think I'm going to go ahead and, and then actually fertilize our own field too. But we will we'll do that in the next episode. Uh, so yeah, I'll start the next episode when I'm done with all the, all of these contracts. <clears throat> Excuse me. We'll see how much money we make uh, from this point, and then we'll we'll do some fertilization on our hay field. So that is the plan. Stand. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we will catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.